This is a quick video to fix a bug from lesson 10.2. There was a problem if you try to remove multiple non-unique items from a player's inventory, it was only getting the first item and wasn't getting the rest. To fix this, we'll open up the solution and modify the living entity class. It's in the remove item from inventory function. And we're going to replace the old lines 147 and 148 with these three new lines, 147 through 149. When we get the variable for the grouped inventory item to remove, we need to have the behavior a little different for unique items and for non-unique items. If the item we want to remove is unique, then we need to find that exact matching item, because if you're removing a sword, a unique weapon, we want to remove the exact sword that the player selected. Or if you're removing something like a snake skin or a snake fang, which is not unique, we don't really care. So what we need to do here is put in this ternary operator. A ternary operator is kind of like an if else statement. If you evaluate this first part before the question mark, and if that's true, then you're going to return this first value the one before the colon, and if the question evaluates to false, then you're going to return the second item, the one after the colon. So if we call remove item from inventory with a sword, that is unique, so it's going to find the exact matching sword, the one where the item matches. If we call remove item from inventory with a snake skin, then it's is unique is going to be false, so it's going to return the first or default grouped inventory item that has any snakeskin in it. Now I'll run the program and test it to make sure that the change worked. This might take a little while because snake fangs are pretty rare and that's what we need to complete the quest and test this out. Okay, now I've killed enough snakes to get five snake fangs. Let's move south where we'll turn in the quest and we should have zero snake fangs left. And that's what we have. We've got the new rusty sword as the quest reward, but the five snake fangs have been removed. So it looks like this works. In the very near future, I'm going to add a unit test project to the solution. So that way we can have some automated tests in here and we can use those to make sure that we don't have any more bugs and if we make some changes that we don't break anything that's usually a good idea as you start building a, a more serious project and i'd like this to be a, a solid code base so those unit tests will be coming soon if you're watching the video on youtube i'll have a link in the description to the support page which will have the source code for this lesson the three lines we changed or if you have any questions, you can leave a comment there and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks.